I usually start my videos sitting down, just ready to talk about the topic that we're going to talk about today. But today is a special occasion. I'm going to be standing up. Well, at least for the intro. Why? Because I'm about to sucker punch you. Sucker punching someone is a criminal act. Running up from behind and hitting someone is the biggest pussy move someone can ever make. I would rather someone run up to me and hit me in the face than come up from behind. Either way, if you're not expecting it, it's a sucker punch. If you're gonna choose to hit someone, just tell them, I'm about to fucking hit you. Or just make it obvious that you're about to hit them, you know? Put up your guard, run towards them, show that you're about to hit them, you know? Don't run up from behind someone and hit them. Anyway, today an absolutely genius TikToker by the name of Alfred Lewis decided that it would be a grand idea to run up behind people and hit them in the back of the head for no reason whatsoever he, he's literally just gonna walk through a park choose a victim and just punch them in the back of the head why he thought this was a good idea i don't fucking know i think anyone can process in this in their brain that this is stupid even like a like an actual criminal knows that this is a dumb thing to do you can literally give someone brain damage from it uh, but yeah, I'm just going to talk about that today because holy shit, it is incredible how much everyone's brains are rotting. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys the video, just a quick little clip. It is only on, I think it's called Nextdoor app. So I'm just basically just showing you guys a clip from like a news article. It's New York Post, so credit to them for getting all the sources for me. But yeah, I'm just going to show you guys a clip and uh, you guys can kind of make up your own idea of what a pussy this guy is. This is the video in question, first shared with KHOU11 via the Nextdoor app. In it, you can clearly see Lewis striking a man in the head from behind before he turns around in shock. I also just want to talk about this guy's punching form. I mean, if sucker punching someone wasn't already embarrassing enough, this guy's punch is incredibly bad. I mean, I don't know how he does it, but he charges from back here and goes like that. Like, he, he fucking hits him with this. I mean, like, he's almost just... You know, hitting them with a pillow. Yeah, a plain old pillow fight. That's probably what the guy thought. He thought, oh, what the fuck is going on? Someone's just hit me with a pillow. Um, but obviously in the video, you can see the guy is clearly in shock. I mean, understandably, you've just had someone come up behind you and hit you. So if the video wasn't bad enough, this did actually all get followed up. And he did somehow manage to land an interview with uh, this news agency. And it is... It's quite funny, the stuff that he says. So I'm just going to play the clips of the stuff that he starts talking about and how, like, he regrets it and, you know, how he's made mistakes and stuff. And it's just, it's just funny and how he describes how he feels bad about it. I know, like, from the video, all you see is, like, the bad part about it. But um, what people didn't see was that I shook his hand after and how I had gave the man a hug. Sorry to interrupt. I shook his hand after and gave him a hug. Oh, nice, man. That's that's real fucking nice. If it was like boxing or MMA or any other kind of martial art and you've just had a fight, okay, that's fair enough. You shake their hand, you give them a hug, hey, nice, fine, man, whatever. Wait, but that's a planned fight. If you run up behind someone and you hit them in the back of the head and afterwards be like, oh, yeah, sorry, man, J just ticked up, Frank. You get it, yeah? Yeah, yeah you understand, yeah? Rear brain damage? Yeah, it'll go, it'll, you'll be all right. Uh, shake my hand, yeah? Cool, yeah? Hug, yeah? I mean, like, what the fuck? This guy has no sense of a moral compass whatsoever. And just to make things even worse, he was carrying a gun on him whilst he did this. So whilst he went up and hit people in the back of the head, he also had a gun with him just in case someone decided to strike back. Under fucking standably, someone was going to try and hit you back, right? Obviously, in the video, no one does it because they're in such shock. But if you hit the wrong guy in the back of the head, you're going to get yourself killed. You're going to get yourself severely hurt. And the cameraman clearly isn't going to do shit. I mean... The guys just stood there for the cloud, just being like, <laughs> yeah, my friend is, my friend is, uh, yeah, hitting people, yeah. Ooh, like, it, what a pussy. Yeah, so there was actually a second clip of what the kid does. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is not having it today. So there's a second clip of what this kid does, and it actually really pisses me off watching this clip. It He really does remind me of, like, a primary school bully. So a primary school for the US people is, like, uh, your first basically bit of school it, it just reminds me of that kind of bully where they just go up and they just like do some random shit to some kid for no reason just to fuck with them just to get a bit of attention yeah a bit of like attention from the girls like ah stop it leave him alone it's like 
Man, grow the fuck up. He hits this guy in the back of the head with this kind of punch, by the way, just to imitate him. And then he starts grabbing him from the back and he hits him again. I don't understand where the fun is with that. You're just fucking bullying someone for no reason. Anyway, I really hope this guy gets charged because holy shit, I hate him. That is something we cannot verify, nor can we confirm that another man seen in the video getting punched and grabbed later left on good terms, according to Lewis. I really didn't expect for it to just go so left, you know. I told Lewis that law enforcement is investigating the incident, something his mother and father were also aware of. And your mom's probably disappointed. Yeah, she is. Lewis said the harsh reaction to the video will make him rethink his behavior. So yeah, as you just saw there in that clip, he, uh, he didn't understand why things went so left. No shit, right? You're going up behind people and hitting them in the back of the head. I, I think this guy's probably been hit in the back of the head. That's why he thinks it's all right to do. And his brain functioning is just not there. And then, <clears throat> sorry, he then gets informed that the police are investigating, understandably, and he's just like, yeah, no, I know. Like, and it's like, yeah, like, fucking hell, this kid. Now we're going to hit a word of advice from this genius man. If you're going to ever listen to someone in your life, this is the person to listen to. Don't listen to your parents. Listen to what this guy's about to say. Before you go out and you do anything that you feel is bad or that could look bad, make sure like people know or just don't do it at all. Clap with me, guys. Clap with me. This fucking kid's a genius. <laughs> if you're going to do something that's going to look bad or make you look bad, uh, make sure people know or don't do it at all. I think he said some shit like that. I didn't even want to fucking listen because this kid is just speaking absolute shit. He doesn't care. He does not care. You can look in those eyes. There is no remorse whatsoever. He got the views. He got the likes. He does not care. Just to round things off, I really hope that the victims do decide to press charges. It's unclear if they're doing it yet. Fingers crossed that they do because this kid will probably get about two, three years in prison for this. Especially with the fact that he's recorded it. There's clear evidence there and he's actually hit someone in the back of the head, which just... You know, if there's genuine da if there's damage to them, it's gonna even you know his charges are gonna really rack up. So I really hope that they do press charges because this kid really deserves hell. To be honest, he deserves to get be in the shit out of in prison. Uh, maybe I'll even send myself to the same prison as him just to do everyone justice by just beating the fuck out of this kid. Um, but yeah, overall, just wanted to share this because well, I've been seeing it on YouTube everywhere, and I didn't really take notice of it until I watched the video, and then I thought. Holy shit, this is something I have to talk about because my opinion matters so much to everyone. But uh, yeah, just don't be like this kid, ever. Don't, don't, just take a look at him. Don't ever do anything. Don't even wear the same clothes he's wearing. Don't even get the same braids as him. Don't fucking copy him. He's a piece of shit. Um, and if you follow him on TikTok, I hate you as well. But uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya. I'm actually going to punch you guys now as well just to really escape from you. I'm going to hit you guys with the... Uh, Things like Mr. Lewis special, right? <sighs>